everyone and welcome back to the acne channel i'm gonna start a series on this channel with regards to facial oils different types of facial oils the benefits and the different skin types that different oils are suitable for and just how they can help improve the skin with it being acne the skin's texture scarring wrinkles dark spots anything like that the reason behind this being is that i used to be so terrified of using facial oils on my skin especially because i have oily slash combination skin i would just have never have thought of putting oil on my face to improve my skin and if anything, I would have thought that using oils would have made my skin more oily. So the first oil that we are gonna talk about in today's video is the Jehova oil. One of the main reasons that this is one of my favorites is because it is multi-purpose. So not only is it suitable for the face, but it is also suitable for your hair, your body, your lips, if you get any wounds, if you get sunburn, you can basically use, I love a multi-purpose use beauty product. So I'm gonna talk about why I like it for the skin, specifically acne prone skin. And this is actually suitable for oily combination and also dry skin. Now the reason that this is suitable for oily skin is because it helps to control the oil. So we have glands and they're called sebum glands and they are what produce the oil. So when we have hormonal acne, then glands are producing more of the oils than they would do normally. So this helps to actually control and balance that. So we're not producing too much and we're not producing too little. It also doesn't clog the pores and it contains vitamin E, which is also a good ingredient for combating anti-aging. It also improves the elasticity, adds moisture to the skin. And as well as vitamin E, it also contains a vitamin B complex. And that is where it comes into being good for hormonal acne. Um, a vitamin B complex is also important to take internally. So I think it's amazing that this oil also contains that because that is going to improve any hormonal imbalances. And that is when we tend to get breakouts. I know that I do along the jawline, the cheeks. It can also spread up onto our cheeks as well and another ingredient that it contains that is also good for breakouts and acne prone skin is that it's rich in iodine and iodine fights harmful bacteria growth which then leads to breakouts so this helps to combat that before the breakout can obviously fight through so I love that it's also anti-inflammatory. So when you have breakouts and they are red and they're bumpy and they don't really turn to a head, they're just inflamed, red and sore, this is gonna help soothe and bring the inflammation right back down again. I am gonna show you the texture of the Jehova oil. So I just put one to three pumps onto the back of my hand and it comes out in liquid form like this. It is fairly thin and runny and it does feel greasy on the skin, but it is very easily absorbed. And I usually like to heat it up on the back of my hand and then I will go ahead and massage into my face, hair or body. So when should you use the Jehovah oil in your skincare routine? So you can actually use this in two different steps and you can choose from doing one or the other. Obviously I wouldn't do both of these on the same day and 
The first one that you can do this for is taking off your makeup. So this oil is amazing for taking off all of your makeup. Um, it doesn't irritate the skin, it doesn't irritate the eyes, it can also remove your eye makeup. Um, so you can apply this straight to your skin and you simply just massage it in and then wash away and then you can continue to use your cleanser and toner etc as normal or you can use it as a moisturiser so as your last step in your skincare routine. Now for me this oil is quite heavy um, it can give the appearance of it being quite greasy on the skin so for me personally I would use this at night time as my last step um, during the night our skin repairs itself and that is when you can give the oils chance to work into the skin and soak in and you don't have to worry about being out in public with crazy shiny face. Um, so yeah, if you are going to use it as a moisturiser, I would recommend using it at night time just because that is when it's going to be best for it to settle in and if you're using it during the day and then you apply your makeup on top, it can just be a little bit too greasy for the skin, just in my opinion, when I have tried using it during the day, it was just a bit too oily for me, but I did find it better to use at night time. So going on to using this as a hair treatment. So you can, again, use this in many different ways. So if it's the end of the week and you want to do a hair mask, you can use the jojoba oil mixed in with different ingredients such as vitamin E or almond oil, castor oil, when you want to do a treatment and leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off. So it's good for using it that way. Or you can also use it through when you have obviously shampooed, conditioned and you've dried your hair and you just want to add some shine to your hair, it makes it soft. It also is really good for if you have a dry scalp, if you're experiencing dandruff, it's really good if you massage it onto the scalp and it will help reduce that and it will just it just adds shine to the skin and obviously with the vitamins that it contains and the antioxidants it's also good for stimulating that hair growth and that is one of the reasons why i love this because you can use it on the face you can use it on the hair and now going on to using it for the body so you can just use this after the shower as a full body moisturiser and it's really good for any dry patches. So for example, your kneecaps, your elbows, anywhere where you might have dry or rough patches of the skin, it feels really silky smooth and soft when you apply it to the body. It's not too greasy and it is easily absorbed into the skin as well. And you can also use it for shaving and it's also good for healing up any wounds or burns or anything like that because it does accelerate the wound healing process. So that is why this is good for acne scarring, dark spots, any anything, any sort of womb or anything like that, this is really good for. Now, when looking for a Jehovah oil, you want to make sure that it is organic or is 100% 100% Jehovah. Um, I put this one is the Jehovah Company, and this is an Australian brand. But I did actually pick this one up in Holland and Barrett. I'll have to put the price up here somewhere or maybe in the comment box below because I'm not sure how much I purchased this for. I don't believe that it was expensive but this bottle is 
30 mils and a little bit of this does go a long way as you can see I have used quite a lot of it but I have had this for several months and it's just a case of using one to three drops here and there um, obviously if you want to use it for your face hair and body you might go through a bottle more quickly than normal so yeah, that is all the reasons as to why I love the Jehovah Oil. This is one of my favourites. If I had to pick a favourite, this would be one of them. So please let me know in the comment box below your favourite oils. Have you had any experience with the Jehovah Oil? Did it work for you? Did it not work for you? I would love to hear other people's experiences and opinions. And I look forward to... Well, I won't see you, but you know what I mean. I'll see you again in the next video. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel as it really supports us out. And I appreciate any comment and just all of your love and support. It's really, really nice and I appreciate it so, so much. Have a nice day.